Another great week of football, boys. Can't believe it's already week six. There's going to be a lot of great games this week. With the first pick in the draft, I'll go with Johnny Manziel. Sleepy Joe, you are so fucking stupid. Let's quickly recap week five and then get into week six. So for week five, I finished with a record of eight and six. Donald also finished with a record of eight and six. And Joe finished with a record of 10 and four. That means that after falling to third last week, Joe has made a comeback and is in first place again with an overall record of 45 right and 33 wrong. While me and Donald are now tied for second with a record of 44 right and 34 wrong. This is fucking rigged. We all know Sleepy Joe is getting inside information. Donald, no, he is not. I'm going to win this, Jack. Let's get into our predictions for week six. Before we do that, I want to remind everyone that we are offering exclusive picks for each week of the NFL season. You can check them out at ecpkpicks.com or the first link in the description. We had another profitable week, so congrats to those who tailed. Make sure you tap in and tail all of our exclusive picks. Now let's get into our week six predictions. All right, this week's Thursday night matchup is the Denver Broncos versus the Kansas City Chiefs. This Broncos team is so fucking trash. I've been saying Russ and Sean Payton are washed. Russ isn't even playing that bad. If anything, it's the defense that's been selling. Fuck off Obama, that corny motherfucker Russ's ass. Chiefs about to give the Broncos an ass beating. Facts, Broncos about to lose by 50 again. Those bums might as well start the off season early because we all know their season is over. There's still time for the Broncos to bounce back. They shouldn't tear it down just yet. What if they win this game? Obama, shut your mouth. Broncos haven't been good since Peyton retired. They will get destroyed by the Chiefs. I think the Broncos will keep this game close, but I can't see them beating the Chiefs. So we all got the Broncos winning this one. Now we got the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Tennessee Titans. And remember, this game is in London. I'm sick and tired of waking up early to watch these games. How many times are they going to play in London? Donald, the NFL is trying to help grow the game by sending teams to play in Europe. What the fuck is a kilometer? All I know is US of A, baby. Is London Fletcher going to score a touchdown? Sleepy Joe, stop being a dumbass. What are your picks for this game? These two teams have a low-key rivalry going between them. You can tell whenever they play, they don't fuck with each other. I think this is going to be a defensive game. I'm liking the Titans and the under here. Lamar and the Ravens once again proved that they are trash and overrated. Derrick Henry is about to run all over Baltimore. Titans win this one. So last week, you guys hop on the Ravens bandwagon. But the moment they lose, you all switch up. Shut the fuck up, Obama. We always been saying Ravens are trash. Well, I got the Ravens. They have a strong team, and let's be honest here, the Titans have been playing like garbage this year. Baltimore are deadass the most overrated team in the AFC. Okay, so Donald and Joe got the Titans winning while I got the Ravens. Next, we got the San Francisco 49ers versus the Cleveland Browns. Most people are going to go with the Niners on this one, but I kind of like the Browns in this game. Sleepy Joe, are you fucking crazy? Niners are the best team in the league. They ain't losing shit. They have to lose eventually. That's a bold take, Joe. San Fran is the hottest team in the league. The Niners are nice, but don't forget it's any given Sunday. I got the Browns pulling off the upset. Sleepy Joe, there is no way the Browns win this. Deshaun Cosby is going to get embarrassed by this 49ers D. Stop underrating the Browns, Trump. Browns got too many injuries. Niners are healthier and just overall the better team. San Fran might not lose a game this year. I don't know about that, Donald. Niners are nice, but they will lose eventually, but not this week. Browns are high-key pretenders and will lose. Brownie the Elf is going to shit on both of you and the Niners. Sleepy Joe, the Browns are literally named after and look like shit. Okay, so Donald and I got the 49ers winning, while Joe's got the Browns. Now we have the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jags are one of the best teams in the AFC. That win against Buffalo was nice. They winning this one, especially at home. I don't know about that, Donnie. This Colts team is pretty good. They had a strong win over the Titans. I can see them beating the Jags. Anthony Richardson's made of glass. They have no QB. Gardner Minshew is a pretty solid backup. Gardner ain't shit for this Jaguars defense. Colts will win this. Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. Jags are about to go off on a crazy win streak. You heard it here first. This is another easy dub for the Jags. This should be a really tight game. Colts aren't bad, but the Jags do look like contenders this year. I'll go with Jaguars. Duval County. Okay, so Donald and I got the Jaguars winning while Joe's got the Colts. Next up is the Washington Commanders versus the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons had a great win against the Texans last week and they will do the same this week against the Poverty Commanders. 
How the fuck did the commanders lose to the trash ass bears? Because they are not good. Riverboat Ron doesn't know what the fuck he is doing anymore. They need to fire his old ass. Facts. Commanders have been playing suspect while the Falcons have a super underrated offense. Don't sleep on Robinson, London, and Ritter. Stop overhyping Ritter. He's trash. And the Falcons are not that good. Commanders will win this. Falcons are nice. Stop playing. Falcons barely beat the Texans after not even scoring 10 points in the prior two weeks. They are not good. Don't be stupid, Obama. Atlanta's got this. So I got the Commanders winning while Donald and Joe got the Falcons. Now we have the Carolina Panthers taking on the Miami Dolphins. And can I just say, damn, Miami's got a cupcake schedule. Shut your mouth, you casual. It gets harder as the season goes on. You're just mad that Dolphins are the best team in the AFC. Dolphins are overrated and can't hang with the big dogs. Enjoy these easy ass games. Just wait till Miami faces a real contender. The Finns are putting up a 40 piece and beating the shit out of the Panthers. Tua Tugboat Viagra will win the Defensive Player of the Year. And the Dolphins beat the Panthers. I hope the Panthers win this, but they have no shot. We all got the Dolphins winning. Next, we got the New Orleans Saints versus the Houston Texans. Holy shit, the Saints shutting out the Patriots was nasty. This team is looking dangerous. They should beat the fuck out of the Texans. I'll admit the Saints had a nice win, but don't get it confused. The Patriots suck ass. Texans are going to win this. Saints are still kind of fraudulent. How can you call the Saints fraudulent when they just smacked the Patriots? Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. Texans ain't the Patriots. C.J. Stroud is that guy. Trump, you're tripping. Joe, I think you are underestimating the Texans. Both of you are such Texans meat riders. They haven't done shit. They're not beating a well-rounded team like the Saints. I don't know. I can see the Texans winning this one. That's an L. Fuck off, Sleepy Joe. Texans are going to make the Saints their bitches. Okay, so Donald and I got the Texans and Joe's got the Saints. Now we have the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Holy shit, this is going to be a good game. Yeah, these are two good teams and are pretty evenly matched. Bengals had a strong bounce back game last week, but this Seahawks team is serious. I feel like Bengals always start out slow and then just start rolling. They should beat the Seahawks this week. Now, nah, Seahawks are winning this one. Their defense is going to expose the Bengals O-line. Burrow's going to cook this Seahawks secondary. You are such a casual. The Seahawks have one of the best secondaries in the league. Woolen is a stud, and so is Diggs. Plus, this Witherspoon guy is nice. He might win DPOY. And don't forget about Jamal Adams. That secondary is overrated as fuck. This Bengals offense is absolutely stacked. The Seahawks can't hang with them. You're a dumbass. Seattle's got this one. Okay, so I got the Bengals while Donald's got the Seahawks. Joe, what's your pick? The Bengals have those cool black and orange jerseys. They will win this game. Sleepy Joe, you are so fucking stupid. All right then. Joe and I got the Bengals while Donald's got the Seahawks. Next, we got the Minnesota Vikings versus the Chicago Bears. Holy fuck, this game is going to be a dumpster fire. The Bears are trash, and now without Jefferson, the Vikings are also trash. I don't know if the Bears are trash. They had a good win last week. Chicago's on the come up again. Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up Obama. Obama. The Bears are going to win again this week. Bears win their first game in like a year, and Obama forgets how to act. Even with the injuries, Vikings are better than the Bears. That's cap. Vikings are winning this week's toilet bowl. Facts. Okay, so I got the Bears while Donald and Joe got the Vikings. Now we have the New England Patriots taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Patriots are so fucking trash, it's not even funny. It's time to fire Bill and rebuild. The Pats have gotten embarrassed two weeks in a row and look completely dysfunctional when they play. But come on, this is a winnable game. I'll take the Raiders over the shitty-ass Patriots any day. Raiders aren't that good. Jimmy G is way better than Mac Jones. Raiders gonna pick up a second straight dub. Nah, no way Bill loses three in a row. Bo Jackson has been playing unbelievable this season. I expect him to have another fantastic performance on the ground. But then again, Vince Wilfork has been wrecking havoc on the D-line. Sleepy Joe, your old ass needs to take some meds. Jamarcus Russell will lead the Raiders to victory. All right, Donald and Joe got the Raiders winning while I got the Patriots. Next, we got the Philadelphia Eagles versus the New York Jets. Eagles are winning this one easily. Fly Eagles fly on the road to victory. Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. Jets are going to humble the Eagles. Donald, there is no way you just said that. Not only did I say it, but I mean it. Donnie ain't no fucking way Jets win this game. The Eagles are so much better than the Jets. Jets D will step up and win us this game. 
Fun fact, in their entire history, the Jets have never beaten the Eagles. Nobody gives a shit about your dumbass facts, Obama. The only thing that matters is that the Jets upset the Eagles and break the streak. You wild him, bruh. Okay, then Donald's got the Jets winning while Joe and I got the Eagles. Now we got the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Rams. I don't think there is much to say here. Rams should definitely win this one. Hard to argue with you there, Donnie. Cardinals have been impressive so far, but so have the Rams. Cardinals had some solid performances early on, but they can't compete with the big dogs. Yeah, the Cardinals have come back to reality these last two weeks. They are who we thought they were. All right, then we both got the Rams winning this. I think Charles Barkley will score a goal and the Phoenix Suns will win. What the fuck? But then again, Lamar Odom and the Lakers have been snorting up W's this season. Sleepy Joe must have gotten into Hunter's stash. Joe, what's your pick? I got the Arizona Coyotes advancing to the knockout stage. Okay, so Joe's got the Cardinals, I think. And Donald and I got the Rams. Next up, the Detroit Lions versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Lions winning this one, don't overthink it. Facts, Lions have been nice this year. That new tight end they got, Sam Laporta or whatever his name is, has been balling. Who the fuck is Detroit's GM? Whoever it is, he needs a raise. Bro's building a super team straight from scratch in Detroit. You two are the biggest Lions meat riders, holy shit. Stop being a hater, Obama. You know, this team is solid. They're decent at best, but I swear, you two hype them up every week. Shut the fuck up, Obama. You don't know ball. Lions are contenders this year. Lions are pretenders and will lose to the Buccaneers. That's a cold-ass take. Let's see who's going to be talking shit when the Bucks beat the Lions this Sunday. Lions about to smash the Bucks. Okay, I got the Buccaneers winning while Donald and Joe got the Lions. Now the Sunday night matchup. The New York Giants up against the Buffalo Bills. The schedule maker must have been high as a kite when he made this the Sunday night game. Yeah, this one could get ugly fast. The poverty-ass Giants will get throttled by the Bills. Anything can happen when the lights shine bright. Donnie, Daniel Jones is like 1-13 in, in primetime games. The only thing that will happen is another shitty-ass performance for Daniel Jones and another Giants L. Hopefully they keep it close. We all know it's going to be a blowout. The game will be over after the first quarter. Yeah, Bills will probably win this one. Okay, then we all got the Bills winning. And finally, the Monday night game, the Dallas Cowboys versus the Los Angeles Chargers. The Cowgirls got their asses handed to them last week. San Fran humbled them. Cowgirls are frauds and will get exposed again this week by Herbert and the Chargers. One bad loss doesn't mean the Cowboys are frauds. They still have an insane defense. They should bounce back and win this game. Dak is a turnover machine, and the Cowboys always disappear against good teams. Chargers will rip them apart. This Chargers team can never be considered good as long as Brandon Staley is coaching them. Brandon Staley isn't that bad. Let's go, Brandon. Okay, then to wrap it up, I got the Cowboys winning while Donald and Joe got the Chargers. All right, so these are our official picks for week six of the NFL season. And this is our overall record so far. This is going to be a great football season. Yes, it will be. Doing these weekly NFL pick'ems should be fun. So, if you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And comment down below your thoughts on our predictions and what your picks will be for this week. And make sure to check out ecpkpicks.com for access to our exclusive picks of the week. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the NFL tier list we made and our other prediction videos.